System of linear equations are two or more linear equations considered together. For example, x plus 2y equals negative 4 and 2x minus y equals 7. This is how we write the system of linear equations. Solution is the term we use for the answer we get from the system of equation. When two linear equations are graphed on the same coordinate plane, there are three possibilities with regard to their graph. The lines can be intersecting, it can be parallel, it can also be coinciding. Here's the conclusion for each possible result for system of linear equations. First one, for intersecting lines, it has one unique solution. It means we can identify the solution of this system of linear equation. Then, equations are independent and system is consistent. And for parallel lines, it has no solutions. The equations are independent, but the system is inconsistent. And for a coinciding line, it has infinite number of solutions, equations are dependent, and system is also consistent. Now let us proceed in solving system of linear equations by graphing. To graph these two equations, we have to get the x and y intercept of each. X intercept is the point where the line crosses the x axis, and y intercept is the point where the line crosses the y axis. To get the x intercept, the value of y must be 0. Same goes with the y intercept. x must be equal to 0. Let us start with the first equation x plus 2y equals negative 4. Again, to get the x intercept, we have to make y 0. So using that equation, x plus 2y equals negative 4, let's change y into 0 like this. So we have x plus 2 times 0 equals negative 4. Then multiply 2 and 0, you will get 0. So now we have x plus 0 equals negative 4. Or simply cancel this 0, now we have x is equal to negative 4. Therefore, the x-intercept of the first equation is negative 4. In ordered pair, we can write it like this. Negative 4, 0. Negative 4 for the x-intercept, and then 0 for y. Next, we are still in the first equation. Let us find the y-intercept of the first equation. So let us make x, 0. We'll use same equation, x plus 2y equals negative 4. Change x with 0. Then cancel, we only have 2y equals negative 4. To cancel 2 with y, we have to divide them by 2, both sides. So divide by 2, cancel 2, then divide negative 4 by 2, you will get negative 2. So in ordered pair, it will be written like this, 0 and negative 2. 0 for x, negative 2 for y. So we're done with the first equation. We may now graph. For the x-intercept, since we call this x-intercept, therefore, we will just be looking for negative 4 in the x-axis. So the x-axis is here, and we can see negative 4 in this area. Let us plot the first point. Then for y-intercept, you just have to look for negative 2 in the y-axis. So the y-axis is here, and negative 2 is in this area. Let us plot the point. Then after that, Connect these two points to form a line. Okay, it means this is the line of the first equation. Now let us proceed with the second equation, which is x minus y equals 7. The same process, to get the x-intercept, you have to change y into 0. You will use this x minus y equals 7. Then remove y and change it with 0, or just simply cancel out y and you will have x is equal to 7. In ordered pair, it will be like 7, 0. For y-intercept, again, you will change x into 0. Same equation. So we have x minus y equals 7. Change x with 0. Now we only have negative y equals 7. But of course, we have to remove negative sign in this variable. Therefore, we will divide both sides by negative 1. Cancel negative. Then 7 divided by negative 1 will give us negative 7. 
Therefore, our ordered pair will be 0, negative 7. Now, let us plot these two points. For x-intercept, we have positive 7. So, x-axis is here. Positive 7 is in this area. So, let us plot the point. Then, for y-intercept, we have negative 7. y-axis y is here. Negative 7 is here in this area. So, let us plot the point. Then, connect the two points. And as you can see, they have this intersection point. The two lines are intersecting. Therefore, we can identify a unique solution. And the solution will come from this intersection point. So, we have 3 and negative 4. So, we have 3 and negative 4 as our solution. 3 is from x. Negative 4 is from y. Therefore, for our conclusion, this system of equations has one unique solution, which is 3, negative 4, and the equations are independent. The system is consistent. Let us have another example. The same process, we will graph these two equations by getting its x and y intercepts. Let us start with the first equation, 3x plus 2y equals negative 6. Again, for x-intercept, you have to make y 0. Copy this equation again, then change y into 0, or just simply cancel 2 times 0. We'll have 0. Simply cancel 2 times 0 since it has no value anymore. Now, we only have 3x equals negative 6. To cancel 3 with this variable x, we have to divide both sides by 3. So cancel, then negative 6 divided by 3 will give us negative 2. Therefore, our ordered pair will be negative 2, 0. Negative 2 for x, 0 for y. Next, y-intercept. Let's make x, 0. Same equation, 3x plus 2y equals negative 6. Change the variable x into 0, or just simply cancel out this 3 times 0 since it will also give us 0. So we only have 2y equals negative 6. So we have to leave y alone. It means we need to cancel this 2, this coefficient. To cancel it, divide both sides by 2. Cancel and then negative 6 divided by 2, it will give us negative 3. Therefore, the ordered pair will be 0, negative 3. 0 for x, negative 3 for y. Now, let us graph. For x-intercept, we have negative 2. So, let's look for negative 2 in the x-axis. And we have it here. Let's plot the point. Then, for y-intercept, let's look for negative 3 in this y-axis. And we have negative 3 here. Let us plot the point. After that, connect these two points to form a line. Then, let's proceed with the second equation, which is 3x plus 2y equals negative 12. Same process. Get the x-intercept by making y 0. Use this equation, change y into 0, then cancel this 2 times 0 or just make it 0. Now, we only have 3x equals negative 12. 3x, 3x equals negative 12, you have to cancel 3. So, we need to divide both sides by 3. Cancel, then negative 12 divided by 3 will give us negative 4. Therefore, the ordered pair will be negative 4, 0. Negative 4 for x and 0 for y. And the other one, y-intercept, change x into 0. We'll use the same equation, then change x into 0. So, 3 times 0 will give us 0. Now, we only have 2y equals negative 12. Then, again, leave y alone. So, we need to divide both sides by 2. Cancel 2. Negative 12 divided by 2 will give us negative 6. Therefore, the ordered pair will be 0, negative 6. We may now plot these two points. For the x-intercept, we have negative 4. So, let's look for negative 4 in the x-axis and it's here. Let us plot the point. Then, for y-intercept, 
we need to look for negative 6 in the y-axis. So negative 6 is here. Let us plot the point. Then connect these two points to form a line. And as you can see, the result is parallel. Therefore, for the conclusion, this system of equations has no solution since they are parallel line, they have no intersection point, then the equations are independent and the system is inconsistent. Third example for solving system of equations by graphing. Let us start with the first equation by changing y into 0 to get the x-intercept. So we have x minus 3, y equals 3, change y into 0. 3 times 0 will give us 0. So we only have x equals positive 3. For our ordered pair, it will be 3, 0. Next, y-intercept. Make the value of x 0. Same equation, x minus 3, y equals 3. Change x into 0. Now we only have negative 3, y equals 3. Then after that, we have to cancel negative 3 here. Therefore, we will divide both sides by negative 3. Divide both sides by negative 3, cancel. 3 divided by negative 3 will give us negative 1. And the ordered pair, it will be 0, negative 1. Now, let us graph. For the first equation, we have x-intercept, which is equal to 3. So, let's look for 3 here in the x-axis, and we have it here. Then, for y-intercept, we have negative 1. Y-intercept, you have to look at the y-axis. So, we have negative 1 here. Okay, and let's draw a line. For the second equation, we will use 2x minus 6, y equals 6. Get the x-intercept by changing y into 0. Same equation, 2x minus 6y equals 6. Change it with 0, so this one. And then, 6 times 0 will give us 0, or just simply cancel it. Now, we only have 2x equals 6. We have to leave x alone, therefore we will divide both sides by 2 to cancel. Divide by 2, cancel, so cancel, then 6 divided by 2 will give us positive 3. Therefore, the ordered pair will be 3 and 0. For y-intercept, let's make x equals 0. Same equation, 2x minus 6y equals 6, change x into 0, so 2 times 0 will give us 0. Now, we only have negative 6y equals 6. We have to cancel negative 6y by dividing both sides by negative 6. Then, cancel. 6 divided by negative 6 will give us negative 1. So, our ordered pair will be 0, negative 1. Let us graph. For the x-intercept, we have to look for 3. So, this is the x-axis and 3 is here. It means we will graph our point in this area. And then for the y-intercept, we have negative 1. So this is the y-axis and negative 1 is also in this area. So let us grab our point, then connect the line. As you can see, these lines are coinciding. Therefore, for our conclusion, this system of equations has infinite solution since the lines are coinciding. Then the equations are dependent and the system is consistent.